Welcome back to another episode of The Infected, and in today's episode, we just got a new update a little bit earlier today. I was already on live stream and talked about it, but I would actually like to make an actual YouTube episode about this. And the new update makes iron become super duper easy to get. Okay, so I haven't talked about any of the updates since the very first one, version six. And we did get a few updates. And so I'll go over from 6.1 to the very newest one, 6.3. Most of it was just hot flip fixes. Some greenhouse changes and fixes increase the durability of the greenhouse 100 to 500 because of this change. When you log in for the yeah, first time after this change, you will need to repair it. I still haven't done that. I really don't even use my greenhouse. Like I want to bring a greenhouse to this pyramid extraction site. And then the bug fix could not repair the greenhouse. It's about it for that one. Next one is more bug fixes. The other thing that we can do for 6.2 is we can now craft lighters for one iron fragment. That's really good for those people that lost their lighters. I usually just keep mine in my backpack so I don't end up losing it. And then the biggest thing is that for the 6.2 update, he says here, unless any other game breaking issues, I will not be doing any more hot fixes updates till after the next content. I need a few weeks to focus on the integrated, the integrate the new AI behavioral system. I will post more info regarding version 7.0 in a few days. So I can't wait to get the new AI. And I didn't think like that was enough to make like an episode about. So I briefly talked about it in the, in one of my episodes this last week. But then this is like a major, like I'm so happy that this came out. Version 6.3. I know, I know I said no more until these, till the version 7.0. However, I wanted to fix a couple more things and make a significant change to the mineral extractors. Could not repair the new wood and concrete rails. That really doesn't bother me because we don't get attacked that much. And they really don't break the new concrete rails or the wood rails for us. World temperature would not be adjusted for the player when in the greenhouse. I did notice that. And so now it is now going to be 23 degrees all the time, which is very nice. And then this is the huge change here. Very, very big. Quite a few have expressed the need to look at the stone smelting mechanic to gather iron fragments. I have made some changes to the extractor to help address this potential problem for some. Mineral extractors will now drop iron fragments, iron ore, and stone in non-ore extraction sites. Previously, players would only get coal and stone. This change is to help reduce the melting of stone on the forges to get iron fragments. Players will still have to grind the forges to get the first extractor, but after that, pl players can rely on the extractors to get iron if they so chosen. Drop rates are 40% for the fragments and ore and 20% for the stone. And then here's another great thing that's going to be coming out. I do have plans to introduce a larger forge. Can't wait for that to happen. And that's going to be in 7.0. And also the additional additions of caves that will contain ores. That's going to be super duper cool to be able to go into the caves and have like a new world for us. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out what I've done. I've already smelted all the ores. I should have 10 here. This is 200 total. We're going to be using all of that up. I'm going to reinvest into the mineral extractors. And so I got a new mineral extraction site. And this is now producing iron ores super duper cool i am so happy that this has come into the game because i don't need to smelter any rocks anymore now it's just i'm gonna build a bunch of extractors i mean you can see all the iron fragments i'm getting so there's really no need to have to get iron fragments from the rocks anymore and I do have a bunch of containers all set up because we're going to be mass producing iron ores. 
I've already gotten five cases full that I've already smeltered up and about to get quite a few more. So now I just have to check up on these pretty often. And on the live stream, I was checking on it like every five minutes because I was just so excited to see us get Iron Wars in the game. So I do have seven going on. And I'm about to add ten more. So today's episode should be really, really quick. Just because it's really late for me and... I spent like five and a half hours on stream building out this side of the pyramid. It does look good other than the concrete. No concrete. So I am going to grab... I think I can hold 20 is good. I'm going to take a container. Because I'm going to reorganize everything out. But I just want to get these mineral extractors on the ground. I do plan on building an extraction site for my iron. And it's probably going to be right in this area. Because this is a nice flat area. And I think I could build something pretty cool here. But I'm going to have to fit 20 total. That's my goal. And I might even try to get some more mineral extractors going. But I think after this episode, we'll be at 10, 17 total. We're going to have no problems producing iron at all. And I'll grab some planks. Eight planks are required for each one. So I recommend that if you're still just starting, get your first extractor going and then reinvest. Reinvest into another one. Reinvest to another one. And then have multiple mineral extractors going for your iron because the iron's the number one need in the game. I think the number two would be aluminum. Number three. What would number three be? Probably copper. And then fourth is cobalt. As cobalt, we don't need that much material to be able to complete other recipes in the game. Okay, there we go. We got our ten total ghost images up. Now I just gotta fill up everything. Make sure this plank machine stays going. In time, I'm not sure how many total I am gonna build, but I know I want a minimum at least 20. I'll see how many irons we get from that 20. I'm pretty sure I'll report it within the next couple episodes to you guys. As this is just so great, so awesome. No more going in that circle, just trying to get iron fragments and then doing another session to get the iron ores. We can just skip straight to the chase. Okay, let's get our next set. There we go. Two more. We got a bear. Yeah, I know that I got to get some oil to fill up these. I'm going to do it all at once. I don't have any type of problem on oil. I have more than enough oil extractors going. Back with the thunderstorms, always. And then this should be our last set. And then I'm all empty. Actually, I have a few more in that chest over there. But I'm going to have a lot really soon. A lot. You can see how much I'm planning for. All this is going to be... <clears throat> all this is going to be all filled up with the iron ore. 
And then now it's just gonna be organizing out the copper extraction site. go now we got 17 total extractions going i do want to build three more but i can't do it tonight because i don't have any other iron ores to be able to build it out i do need my oil cans okay let's go ahead and get these powered on I only can imagine how many, how much iron ores we're going to get, even the fragments. if I check these ones it doesn't look like it I think I just briefly went through this nothing else Crazy rainstorm happening right now. Super duper long. Okay, I'm trying to wait out this rainstorm, but it's not working. I've waited here for a while. It's just still raining and raining and raining. But yeah, this is what the new update has us doing. Bunch of iron extractors to get the iron ores and start mass producing all our iron ores and iron fragments so there's still no alt click in the game going to the forges but that's all right i don't mind going one by one it was just it was getting very tiring putting the rocks inside going around getting all these fragments just to put them back inside to get your uh iron ignits and man i'm so glad that he added that to the game and i really can't wait for the new iron or the new forges to come out a bigger batter really really good iron forge Is it over yet? That was the longest thunder there. I can't wait to get the new forge. So when version 7.0 comes out, hopefully in the next few weeks, I'll be updating you guys on that. And I'm hoping that it's going to be automated because I'm going to have like so much material that I just would like to throw it into a basket and then that basket be able to perform everything. And I mean, two at a time is kind of boring. I, I just hope he doesn't do, you know, six at a time. You got to drag each one onto the forge, but we will see. So I do hope you guys are liking the update. Just let me know what you think about it. If you're doing the same thing as me, building massive iron extractors to get all your iron ignits. Cause I mean, you can see I got a lot of aluminum, cobalt, copper in our place but what i lack is the iron but not anymore not anymore all right guys and with that this will complete our episode for today thanks again for watching this infected episode we will see you on the next video